Hi, this is Jody from the Women Travel Save Facebook group. Today I'm going to show you two waterproof bags that I bought on Amazon. I took a trip about a month and a half ago to Italy and I wanted to swim in the sea. I knew I would be out on a day trip and I, would, I was traveling alone and I needed some place to put my valuables, my passport, my phone, my keys, the key to the Airbnb uh, while I was in the ocean. I didn't feel secure leaving it on the beach while I was in the water. So I bought these on Amazon. They come as a two pack. Um, it's about eight and a half inches by six inches. You have one that's black and there's one that's blue. It's kind of see-through. So I think if you were using this in the rain and using Google Maps or something, you'd be able to see it. The construction is actually pretty solid. You have about a one inch strap. It is adjustable here and it has a very strong closure. I have to really uh, push hard to release this closure. You can wear it around your waist, over your shoulder as a cross bag. So this plastic is actually very strong plastic. Um, when I was wearing this, I actually hit a rock, um, a large rock that I didn't see in the sea, and um, I really thought I, I had cut it. And when I got out of the water, I was very happy to see that everything was still intact. So it was quite strong. Let me show you the construction. When you open this, it's a very strong Velcro. And then underneath the Velcro, you'll see like about three kind of Ziploc style closures. And that's a trick to this. It has a three Ziplocs, you have a folding, and then you have an overlay of the Velcro. So let me show you. I'm going to also test this in water. Let's open it. I'm going to put in my passport with a cover, but there's a passport, this is what I use. I'm going to put in an iPhone X with its case. Put this in here. I have some cards that I'm gonna put in there. And I'm gonna put in my house keys. So I've got four keys and a key ring here. So what I try to do just to make it more comfortable is I just kind of try to flatten everything out. I was nervous if I should put my keys in there, if the keys would actually, you know, cut through the plastic, but it was really fine. So I just kind of lay everything down. I put my keys against the passport so it wouldn't scratch the cover of my phone. So that's all in there. The trick here is to be sure that you really seal all of these Ziploc closures. So I'm going to seal the first one. I'm now going to seal the second one. I'm pressing really hard here. And I'm going to seal the third one on the top. So let me just make sure you can hear it. If, if it has a pop, then it hasn't closed. So I'm going from the top down. If you can see on the video, that's, that's how I'm doing it. So they feel like they are all three thoroughly closed. Then what you do is you fold it down like this and then over. So let me show you one more time. Top down and then you fold it over so it looks like this. And then you take that, that flap and that goes over onto the Velcro. So then I close up the Velcro, I do one last check here, and I feel like it's very secure. You can see the contents, everything is inside of there. And let me show you how it reacts when I put it in water. Okay, so I have here uh, one of my baking dishes with water. I'm going to actually set it in here. Whoops, maybe I put too much water in there. I'm gonna completely submerge it under the water. You can see it's completely under the water. This one happens to be floating right now. Let me make sure you can see this with the camera. Okay, so it's completely, completely under the water. I can even put it under the water the other way. I feel very secure with this product because I know I tested it myself in the sea with salt water, raging waves in Italy, and it was okay. So, you see it's completely wet. I actually got the belt wet too. The water is dripping off there. Let me take my cutting board. I love this cutting board. I actually got it on Amazon as well. So, 
let's see if the contents stay dry. So let me just wipe my hands. So I open it back up and I see there's water on the inside, but everything is still closed. You see, everything is still closed on the inside. Let's open it up. I'll show you here. And it's completely, completely dry. I don't want to get it wet on the cutting board, but you can see my phone is there. It's dry. My cards, the paper on the cards is completely dry. The keys are fine. Everything was really fine. So, you know, um, I think it's definitely a very good product. I, I wouldn't say it's anti-theft, but I think for keeping your valuables close to you uh, when you are in the water on your holiday, on your vacation, I think this is really the best thing you can get. For the $10 price point, um, I thought it was fantastic. Um, it's very adjustable. I'll put the links if you're interested, but it, it's just too much of a hassle. If you, you come back from swimming and then all of your valuables are gone, I think that would just destroy your holiday. So I hope this helps and um, travel safe.